What if Earth's core froze instantly? Could we survive the catastrophe it brings? We'll make our way from day one and go to a century and see what happens. The Earth's core has been burning non-stop for the last 4.5 billion years, basically the oldest, most overworked furnace in the universe. Despite its age, it still burns at a scorching 5400 to 6500 degrees Celsius, nine times hotter than the surface of the sun. So yes, inside this blue marble we call home is something hotter than the sun itself. Comforting, right? But what if some god of war gets bored, hurls his axe, in an instant, bam, the core freezes solid. In a fraction of a second, the heart of our planet stops. At first, you notice, well, nothing. The surface stays calm, but deep below, the world's biggest silent catastrophe has begun. With Earth's core frozen, our magnetic field, a force that shielded life for billions of years, begins to flicker. It's invisible to us, yet essential. Without it, solar radiation, the same radiation that makes life on Mars impossible, starts slipping in. But something strange is happening in the skies. Auroras, normally confined to the poles, start appearing in places they shouldn't. Not there, I meant the skies. Bright waves of green and red shimmer over cities in the tropics, casting an eerie glow across the world. It's beautiful and mesmerizing, but it's a signal. The Earth is losing its shield. As the days pass, the first signs of chaos begin to emerge. Power grids around the globe flicker and fail as solar radiation seeps through the weakening magnetic field. Satellites in orbit, once protected, malfunction under the onslaught, causing massive internet and communication outages. Nature itself feels the disruption. Birds veer off their migratory paths, circling aimlessly in the sky. Bees abandon their hives, confused and disoriented. In the oceans, Whales strand themselves on beaches by the thousands. It's as though Earth's life forms, guided for millennia by the magnetic field, have collectively lost their compass. But the changes don't stop there. Solar storms intensify, bathing Earth in higher doses of radiation. Reports flood in of people experiencing severe sunburns within minutes of stepping outside. Governments scramble to issue warnings, but the damage has already begun. Earth's core isn't just responsible for our magnetic field. It powers the very mechanics of our planet. With the core frozen, the tectonic plates that form Earth's crust come to a standstill. Volcanic eruptions seize, and the Earth seems eerily calm. For a moment, there's hope. No earthquakes, no natural disasters. But this calm is deceptive. Beneath the crust, pressure builds like a ticking time bomb. Without the core's heat driving convection currents, stress accumulates at an unimaginable scale. Then, the inevitable happens. In just one year, the planet is rocked by a series of cataclysmic earthquakes. A single rupture in the Pacific triggers a 12.0 magnitude quake, sending shockwaves that flatten entire cities. Tokyo, Los Angeles, and Istanbul are left in ruins. Tsunamis over 300 meters high sweep across coastlines, swallowing entire nations. Volcanic activity halting has a side effect no one predicted. Carbon dioxide levels plummet. The Earth, once warmed by natural emissions, begins to freeze. Global temperatures drop by 15 degrees Celsius in just a year, plunging the world into a brutal, unrelenting winter. Crops fail across continents, leading to food shortages on an unprecedented scale. Starvation becomes the new normal. The world population shrinks by over 20% in a single year, as famine and cold claim billions. Meanwhile, the oceans, no longer powered by heat from below, grow stagnant. Massive marine die-offs leave the waters eerily lifeless, disrupting the food chain for both sea and land. The earth is unraveling, its systems collapsing under the weight of a frozen heart. But, before we continue, I just want to share something personal. Every single frame of this video was hand-drawn. Each aurora, each underground city, every frozen wasteland, it took me countless hours of sketching and bringing this story to life just for you to experience this journey in the most vivid way possible. If you made it this far and are enjoying this adventure, please take a second to subscribe. It's the best way to support this kind of storytelling, and it means the world to me. Enough of that. Ten years in, humanity faces a grim new reality. Without the magnetic field, cosmic radiation bombards the planet, increasing cancer rates tenfold. 
Skin cancer becomes the leading cause of death, and genetic mutations begin appearing in both humans and animals. Reports emerge of bizarre deformities, children born with translucent skin, animals with multiple limbs or missing eyes. Evolution itself seems to be spiraling into chaos. The atmosphere, the planet's final defense, starts to erode. Solar winds strip away our protective gases at a rate of 5% per year. Oxygen levels drop, especially at higher altitudes, forcing millions to abandon mountain cities and relocate to low-lying areas. The surface of the planet becomes increasingly uninhabitable. Sunlight, once a source of life, now carries a death sentence. Even brief exposure results in radiation sickness. Humanity retreats underground, building massive bunker cities equipped with artificial sunlight and oxygen generators. Above ground, only the most desperate remain, scavenging in a hostile, radiated wasteland. The oceans are now graveyards, dominated by strange mutated organisms that thrive in the stagnant, oxygen-depleted waters. Coral reefs, once teeming with life, are now bleached skeletons. Marine life, which sustained billions of people, is all but gone. 100 years after the core froze, Earth has become unrecognizable. The surface is a frozen, radiated wasteland. Temperatures have plunged to negative 90 degrees Celsius in many regions, and the atmosphere is barely functional. Cosmic radiation continues to batter the planet, mutating any life brave enough to exist above ground. Humanity's survivors live in vast underground cities. These bunker cities, powered by geothermal energy and artificial ecosystems, are humanity's last strongholds. Life is adapted, but at a cost. Humanity's connection to the surface world has been severed. Generations are born and die without ever seeing sunlight. The surface becomes a realm of myth. Stories of a green earth with vast forests, flowing rivers, and blue skies are passed down as fairy tales. Children grow up believing the surface world was a paradise their ancestors foolishly abandoned. But none of this is going to ever happen, as our home's heart is strong.